Hi everyone and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to try some of the most hyped products um, on YouTube and some of them are going to be like first impression. So if you're interested to see what I think about these products then please keep on watching. The first thing I'm going to try is this jade roller. I uh, have to be honest, I already tried it once and I do like it. I don't know if it's doing anything special, but there are so many different jade rollers. This is from Kix. Um, I mean, I do think it feels very nice on the skin, but I don't know if it really does anything. I think I need to use it more. But this is supposed to... It's made of 100% real jade stone. I don't... Ideal for face massage, massaging your face with a jade roller has many benefits. It stimulates blood circulation, which gives a healthy glow. It cools and smooths the skin and reduces puffiness. And jade roller tones facial muscles and improves skin texture for smooth complexion. I mean, it sounds good, but I think I need to use it more to really see the results. But let's take it out. And I'm going to apply my eye serum that I really like from The Effect. And I have uh, a whole video about this product. This is cruelty free, vegan free, paraben free. You can see that video on my channel if you're interested. And let's see what I think about it. I'm going to use the smaller size. Well, it feels cold and nice, but it's kind of hard to come under the eye but it really really feels nice cooling so I think this is this will reduce puffiness I'm liking this side let's try it on the face and for the face I'm going to use two products they are not very hot up on I mean, haven't seen so much reviews about it but so I'm going to use this Nip and Fab Repair Bisting Fix Repairing Shot that I'm trying out with a new face cream that I got. This is Medico, uh, Medicate, uh, Refining Moisturizer, Pore Minimizer and Lightweight Hydration. And I did try this a couple of times. I really, really like it. I don't know if it's really, how to say, uh, hyped product, but it's a very good product. And I'm just going to mix these together. Take one, two drops, mix it first and apply it on the skin. It doesn't smell really nice, it doesn't have a perfume scent, but it I feel like it, it does wonders to my skin, this face cream, but I just started using it. So I can't say exactly everything but it feels very nice and i'm going to use this side of the roller to kind of massage the rest of the product into the skin and it feels very cold and very nice i do like it this is the product that everybody likes and talk about on the youtube every Many of the YouTubers really love this moisturizer that they use as a primer too. I kind of moisturize my skin, but I just use the one pump because I thought I'm going to use this on half of my face. This is Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base with sheer butter, vitamin C and E. And uh, people use it as a primer and a moisturizer too. But I am going to use it more as a primer. This is how it looks. I haven't tried this, but I'm very curious to see. I'm going to use it on half of my face. Uh, the other half, I'm going to use my regular primer and my pore primer from Tarte because I know how that works on my skin because I'm going to use uh, this um, HD liquid coverage, coverage foundation, last up to 24 hours, mattifying, mattifying second skin from Catrice. That is so hyped up. I mean, this foundation is so popular. Right now, the less per people use it because there are so many foundations out there right now that are very, very nice and look very nice that people really like. But this is one that so many like, and it's very affordable. 
I have two shades. I did try it once and I do, did like it. I didn't wear it all day, all day, so this is going to be a very good test, but I did like it. I tried uh, both sand beige number 30 and 40 warm beige, but the warm beige is kind of too dark for me right now, so I'm going to go in with 30 soft beige, oh, sand beige. But before we do that, let's zoom in a little bit and go in with the primer. It smells very fresh and nice. It's like whipped cream. Uh, I haven't tried it, so it's thick. So let's go in with, on this side. I'm going to use it, I don't know, as if I have a pimple here. Oh my God. I mean, it feels very nice. I don't think this will, will, will be good on my skin because uh, I have oily tears on, but right now my skin is a little bit strange. I can't figure it out. But I just want to see if it's going to keep my makeup on and how it's going to look on my skin. I mean, it feels like this has very nice, um, healthy glow. It smells good. And on the other side, I'm going to use a black primer from Revolution Makeup. And of course, my, my Tarte, Tarte primer. Let's fill in the pores. I feel like this one didn't fill in the pores, but I'm going to keep it that way. I'm not going to go in with this because I just want to see how it's going to look on my oily T-zone. For the foundation, I'm going to go in with my Beauty Blender and number 30 Catrice. I prefer this with Beauty Blender than uh, the brush. It's very light and I really like this foundation. Like I said, I did try it once and I did like how it sank into my skin and uh, even my skin tone and it has a lot of coverage, which I really prefer and like. Like you see, I have one layer and it covered almost everything. And I'm not going to go in with two layers, but I really, really like this foundation. So I'm looking right now and this side looks very, very nice. The foundation went on very beautifully over it. And it has more as a, that it has more of that natural glow than this side. This side feels and looks a little bit more matte, though I feel because uh, these pores are less visible because I went in with a tart pore primer, which I didn't do on this side. But I am definitely, if I do like this and product, and if it's going to keep my makeup on for the whole day, I'm definitely going to use it with um with a pore primer. Uh, but I feel like. It smoothed my skin and uh, this side feels more um, my skin, my own skin than this one. This, this one looks more makeup-y. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but on uh, my little mirror, I feel like it looks like that. So I do like this foundation, but we'll see if it's going to last the whole day. In with another very hyped product. This is infallible more than concealer L'Oreal product. L'Oreal concealer that many people really like it. I haven't tried it. I have it in shade Oatmeal 324 Oatmeal. Uh, it looks like tart shape tape. Let's see. Okay, the color is nice. Oh. My God, it smells terrible. It's blending very really nice, really nice. But I don't know, it has a nice coverage. It feels like it made these pores less visible, but it's drying fast. So you do need to work with it a little bit faster than I did. I feel like it sits more smooth on this side with this Bobbi Brown primer than it does on this side with Revolution and Tarte primer. 
feel like it looks a little bit cakey and heavy on this side. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but here it just sits on the skin. I kind of prefer this side right now. But it's a nice concealer, full coverage. I didn't use a lot of it and I feel like it covered everything. So I do feel like it's a nice product, but we'll see the rest of the day how it's going, if it's going to crease or anything. To set my makeup or to set the concealer and the foundation, I'm going to use very popular um, foundation compact or foundation powder foundations that people use to set their makeup. I haven't tried it. Uh, I did swatch it, but I haven't tried it. This is uh, J-Cat's Aqua so Sorens Compact Foundation. I have two shades here. I have the ivory and also medium beige. Uh, it says to minimize the appearance of pores. It's innovation technology with water look system to maintain moisture with the powder. It absorbs the uh, and it absorbs and balances excess oil without creasing and looking cakey. That's what I really really want, and also to minimize my pores provides to from medium to full coverage for natural flawless complexion. I'm going to use this in another video just you, you to use this as my foundation uh, to try it out but I do want to try it out in this video because it's very hyped up on uh, some channels. Some people really really like it especially Tati likes to set her under eyes with this and she's raving about this product uh, so much and we'll see this is ivory i think a little lighter shade i did swatch it like i said i mean it feels i don't know what to say it feels nice i do like the packaging though this is the other shade it's definitely darker so i'm not going to use this one jeffrey star brush I don't know if you see, I don't like it under the eyes with this concealer. It's patchy. I don't know if it's the concealer or if it's the powder. I feel like it looks a little bit uneven under my eyes and around my pores. It doesn't look heavy. It definitely minimizes the appearance of the pores a little bit. Maybe it will look better if I use the sponge. Let's, let's just try the sponge a little bit just here oh that looks heavy no that looks heavy not sponge i don't know i do need to try this product by itself that's why i sometimes don't like do, to do full face first impression because i don't know if it's the powder or the concealer or if it's the primer or what it is but i do have different primers on my um, face so that's definitely not the primers but I feel like the uh, I feel like the concealer maybe was uneven blended, and it does crease under the eyes. I do need to this concealer creases even if I do have the powder. Definitely going to try this concealer and tell you in another video what I feel about it and this try this powder too or foundation as my foundation I think I don't like this so far but we'll see I mean this looks nice it doesn't look too powdery it does look a little bit powdery right now but I do need to set it with some sit setting spray uh, okay so I do want to go in with eyebrow product one product that so many people really really like and uh, it's this LA Girl brow pencil so many people really really like it and I did order it. I did order it in uh, brunette So we'll see if that shade suits me So this is LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil in medium or brunette So let's try the spoolie Okay, it's not the best spoolie, but it works and it's a very small it reminds me of the benefit
I mean, the spoolie is not the best, but the eyebrow product, it's very nice. Okay, they're not twins, they're sisters, but I, I really like this pencil. I really, really like it. Uh, like I said, the spoolie is a little bit too harsh, but the product itself, it's very nice. I think it's my new favorite. I like it. I feel like my eyebrows are not even bad. I don't care. I did order a couple of other products, but they never arrived. And that's why I can't try the new bronzer or contour or any blush. But I'm going to use uh, this Cheek Leather Benefit palette. This is in Pink Squad. This is very popular. Hula Bronze is very po popular. Many people really like it. And I'm going to use it today. And I'm going to go in with this brush from Jeffree Star and use Hula Bronzer. This is so hyped up. I mean, I think every YouTuber has tried this product. And I know why people like it because it's a very nice bronzer, these two, but I'm going to mix these two and use as my blush. Okay, so I'm looking at myself right now and the powder, this powder kind of sank into my skin and it looks more flawless right now. It doesn't look at all powdery. And I do like it. The foundation is very beautiful. The next product is something that I already reviewed on my channel. And I created three makeup looks in a video. This is the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Palette. I bought that, uh, borrowed that from my sister and I tried it on the, in that video and I really liked it. So I did order it myself. I haven't used it, used it, the one that I ordered but I'm going to use it today. This is, I think, the best seller. I think this palette is the most popular and it's always out of stock and so many people really like it. It's very special and I do like it. I like the blue blood palette. It's so beautiful. But today I'm going to use the blood sugar because it's very hot up. So many people like it. It's always out of stock and we are going to use it today. I'm not going to talk you through the makeup look. So if you hear a cat, that's a robot cat that my son got for his birthday. That kind of sounds like a strange real cat. So let's start. Oh, I forgot the eyeshadow primer. I'm sorry. I'm going to use the one that I always use, but it's very hot type. This is Urban Decay. So many people like it. I'm going to use it today. Uh, I forgot to apply. Okay, that robot cat, it's very loud. a lot under my eyes I don't know if you can see it but I don't like this concealer it creases a lot but I do like it to cut the crease <laughs>
like how this makeup turned out. Do really, really love this palette. So if you don't own any red shades, you're scared of them, red, purple. I mean, they, you have you can create so many natural makeup looks with this palette too, but I do think it's worth the money. And I do think that uh, everyone needs it in its, co its collection if you don't own these kind of shades, even if you're scared of them. Because it's fun to play with makeup sometimes. So, not sometimes, I always like to play with makeup. Yeah, so for the highlight, I'm actually going to use the, this one because it's very hot tub. So many people like it. I've been using it hundred of hundred times on my channel, and I do like it, love it. I think it's worth the money, and it's something special. There is no highlighter as this one. This goes on on every skin tone, on every makeup look. It's just perfect. So I did order one of the LA Girl lip liners, but it. I just can't find it right now. Don't know where it is, but it's very popular. But I do have another that I haven't tried out that it's also very popular. I did order it because of uh, that Jacqueline Hill really like it, like it, and she had it in a review where she swatched all of her new lipsticks. The MAC Strip Down Lip Liner that it's very popular, especially with nude lipsticks. I'm going to try it today. I'm not a very... I'm not a person that really, really like lip liners, but I'm going to use it today. I do sometimes. I don't know. I'm going to leave it as this. I'm so bad at doing lip liner but one lipstick that it's affordable but so many re people really really like it and enjoy using it it's the Maybelline this is the Maybelline uh, shine brilliant baddest beige it's one lipstick that so many people really like it and use it every day and it's they say perfect nude shades so I'm very interested to try it this is the baddest beige from Maybelline. Oh, that's creamy. I didn't expect that. I like the shade, but it's very creamy that it kind of makes, looks a little bit patchy on my dry lips. It's not that, it's not too pigmented. So maybe I should use the lip liner all over my lips. It's very creamy and I really like the shade and it suits me very nice. It would look better more even if I applied the lip pen all over the lip, lips. But right now I know it's creamy, it's nice. I do like the shade and I think it would look perfect over um, liquid lipstick and this in center. So I really enjoy it. Okay, I think that's everything. I'm going to apply my... Uh, no, that's not. That's not everything. No, it's not. We are going to use the mascara that, that is hot up, but some people love it, some people hate it. And I'm very curious to see it. I did got it in my glossy box. This is Benefit ba Bad Gal Bang Mascara. And I'll be waiting for a video to try this. And I do have some mascara, mascaras that I use. The Nipper Fab that I like for every day. It's almost almost dried out. The one that I really like how it makes my eyelashes look long and full is this Essence Lash Princess. The only thing is that after a couple of hours it transfer under my eyes. Doesn't matter what I do, it always transfer. I did use it so many times right now. I love what it does to my eyelash, but I, eyelashes, but I hate what it does for my under eye area after a couple of hours. It's the same thing with Better Than Sex Mascara from Too Faced. I love that mascara, but it transfer, transforms under my eyes like nothing. Doesn't matter how much I set it, how much powder, it always transforms down there and I hate it. So I'm using this when I'm not going anywhere. But I'm very curious, this is 36 hours. I don't think I'm ever going to have a mascara on for 36 hours, but if it says 36 hours for my very oily eyelids, it's very interesting to see. So I have a couple of uh, mascaras to try out. But today we are going to use this Bad Gal Bang from Benefit. It's a very nice packaging. And let's see, it's very flexible. 
Let's see what it's going to do. It clump, clumps some eyelashes together, but I don't mind. Look at this one coat. Look at this. It's giving me false lashes effect. I love it. And I really hope it doesn't transform or flakes. I hate when it flakes too. But I really like how it made my eyelashes pop. And I'm not going to have any... I thought that I'm going to use these falsies, but I'm not going to do that because I'm going to film another video. Okay, I kind of smudged it a little bit too much on the eyes. I have to clean that up later. It's a little bit clumpy, so if you don't like that, you're not going to like this, but I kind of like when it does. When it's like that, I'm going to go in with a second coat. This cara is kind of very liquidy, and it takes time for it to dry. So I kind of messed up a little bit on the eyes and over, but I'm going to fix it when it dries down. So far, I'm really, really liking the product. I really like this mascara, but if it's going to stay on the whole day on my eyelashes and not move around and not flick or not uh, transfer, I'm going to love it because I do like that uh, more clumpier mascara, not too much, but I do like that. If you don't like clump mascaras, you're not going to like this. So this is definitely not for everyone. So do, right now I do understand why people, some people love it, some people hate it. I kind of like the, how it makes my lashes. You do need more time to work with it. It's not a mascara that you just put on when you do have very little time. You do need a lot of time to make this look good on your eyelashes. I don't mind that. I like it. Okay, so right now I do really like how my makeup looks like. I do, do like this primer. And it feels like this side is more looking more, I don't know how to say, very healthy glow. And the foundation went on smoothly. I like how the foundation sits on the skin with this primer more than the Revolution. Though I think my pores are more visible, but I didn't, didn't use that pore primer there. So I'm definitely hoping this is will work. So I like the, the primer. I like the Catrice foundation so far. I don't like the concealer. It's creasing a lot. I didn't even finish my makeup and it's creasing a lot. So I don't like that. The eyeshadow palette, I love. I mean, everything blended beautifully. I love it. It's worth the hype. Uh, the eyebrow pencil, I really enjoy. So that is also something that I really, really like. The highlighter, um, it's not new, but I, it's very popular. I do really like it. The powders, so far, I'm really liking them. I'm definitely going to continue using them and I'm going to review it and apply it as my foundation um, to see. I do like the, really enjoy this pencil. I can see myself reaching for this a lot because it's a perfect shade that I think goes with so many different lipsticks, nude lipsticks. So I'm definitely going to continue using that. I really like this lipstick. It's very sheer, but it's very, it's very sheer, but it's also very creamy. Uh, but I do like it. I feel like it made my lips look nice. So I do like that. And the Hula Bronzer, the blushes from Benefit are very nice. So that is something I do like. So guys, I'm going to do a check-in in a couple of hours. Right now is, let's see, it's 12.40 right now. So I'm definitely going to do a check-in after a couple of hours to tell you what I really like, think about this foundation, how it's going to sit the whole day on this side where I have this primer or on this side where I have these primers and also the mascara but everything else yeah so far it's been a good video so see you in a couple of hours so it's 10 o'clock at night and i'll be having this foundation on for around 10 hours no not 10 9 hours i forgot to tell you uh, what time it was but this is how it looks i can see that it looks pretty good i really like this foundation the powder looks also good. I don't like the concealer. I really don't like the concealer. I'm sorry for the lights. I'm in my kitchen. It's dark outside almost. And I have no natural lights. I'm kind of yellow, but I don't know if you can see. This side where I have Bobbi Brown primer is more oily. 
but it, it, the foundation didn't break up break apart it kind of looks pretty good a uh, little bit shiny but i do like how it looks and this side looks also good so i like the foundation and i like the primer moisturize the primer i'm definitely going to try it a little bit more the bobby brown the concealer i don't like at all i'm going to try it again with some other powder but i um, don't think i'm going to like it uh, the eyebrows i do do like a lot um, then we have the mascara it's good but it flakes i don't know if you can see uh, my eyelashes are pretty nice. I like them, but it flaked a lot. I don't know if you can see. I mean, it's not the worst, but it's not the best either. I'm definitely going to continue using it to try it. Maybe apply just one layer and see if that works better. But so far, I'm liking it. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Let me know down below what you think about this video and these products. Is there any product you want me to try out? Please let me know. And I hope I see my next video. I love you all. Bye.